All right, let's see if she'll start. Oh, come on, baby. Check our battery cables. The thing about this old tractor is, it usually doesn't do too bad in the cold weather. It's, it's like, um, I think it's like 20 degrees out here right now. But for a diesel, it really doesn't do bad at all. As long as you can spin that starter, you know, you're, you're doing okay. You got enough juice to do it. That's why I've got it. Actually, I've got it hooked up to the pickup here with jumper cables. Probably a little light on the jumper cables, but either way. Hey everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm. While I uh, let the battery charge up a little bit off the pickup, I'll tell you why I'm using this tractor. Um, the starter on the farm wall, I'm gonna have to rebuild it. Haven't ordered any parts for it yet. Uh, so we're using the John Deere right now. This little John Deere is an eight cylinder diesel tractor. They were made in Germany in the late 60s, early 70s. And they start really well in the cold for being a diesel tractor. Again, as I said a little bit ago, so long as you have enough battery power to spin that starter fast enough. And that's kind of my issue. The battery that's in there is a bit weak. And so I have to put the truck onto it, kind of put them together and, and try to, to get enough power to, to turn that starter over fast enough. The jumper cables that I have are they're too small, honestly. They're, they're not meant to do what I'm doing with them, so if you don't say anything, I won't either. Um, either way, it works. The old tractor works uh, pretty well for this. I moved the, the bale spear off of the bucket of the farm wall, put it onto the back of the, the John Deere. It's a three-point bale spear that you know I was using on the bucket. So anyway, once we get this started, we can actually feed a little bit of hay. Now, maybe? when I started her up, but it's cold. strings off. Man, we've had some winter weather recently, so everything's been wet. Now it's frozen. It's kind of hard to get down to where these strings are.
see the light. Beep, beep. This looks like a good spot. Hey, hey, cut that out. Broke the handle on my little rig. It may be a good thing. Samson can't help but to rub against that bale. Quack. I think that'll do for tonight. We'll make them eat them first couple layers, clean that up, and then we'll we'll give them a nice load tomorrow. Now let's give a little bit to the donkeys and the goats.
of my favorite things about goats is that they require so little when it comes to hay and water. The odd thing is, it's like these things, they, I don't know, they're efficient, I guess. Best way to put it. Maybe I'm used to cows and pigs, you know, making messes. Now goats will get into stuff. Obviously they'll jump in the water trough, but they don't drink nearly as much as a cow. Even this whole group of goats right here, they don't drink as much as one cow. It's, it's just insane. Anyway, one of the best things about goats, they're easy when it comes to uh, feeding and watering in the winter at least easier than cows. So with all this cold weather, I ended up cheating whenever it come to uh, shelter for the, the goats and the donkeys as well. Um, pulled the stock trailer out here in the field and left the door open. Actually, they, <laughs> they've been bedding in it, so yeah, it works. I put some hay in the floor and they get nice and cozy there on these cold nights. There's one other thing I wanna show you before I end this video up that way. So this is the pond. I finished cleaning it out a few weeks ago. I didn't record any of it because it's kind of one of those things. I, I was only able to kind of hit it a little bit at a time and Quite frankly, I was ready to just get it done and not have to mess with the camera. So I apologize if you were looking forward to, you know, watching me clean out the pond some more. But uh, for those of you that have not seen the other videos, I've got some other videos out there about this pond. Uh, I used a farm all in with a front end loader on it to clean this pond out. Cleaned out probably in the center, three, three and a half feet of, uh, of muck uh, to get down, you know, to the nice red clay uh, bottom of the pond. So I've just discovered that my microphone was dead. I'm not sure how long it's been dead. So I finished up the pond here, as you can tell. If you go out into the center of this pond, you've probably got uh, between two and three feet of depth right out in the center. One of the good things is I've not seen any signs of it leaking water. Um, the water level has not dropped. It's just continually been coming up as we've gotten rain and snow and ice and rain and snow and all that pattern. Anyway, over the last handful of weeks that I've uh, uh, been done with it as far as cleaning it out goes. And if you haven't seen the other videos of me cleaning out this pond, there's at least a couple of them where I use a M Farmall with a Koiker uh, Super K loader on the front of it in order to clean out this pond. And, it was slow, took me quite a while, but hey, you know what? I didn't have to rent any equipment or hire anybody else to do it, so in my book, I guess that's a win. I also want to mention that things have been pretty slow here lately. It's basically just been me doing chores every day, going to work, coming home, doing chores, going to work, coming home. There's not really been any projects going on, so I don't know, I mean, I hate to keep making these videos where I just do chores over and over and over again in the winter time. Um, you know, last year I built my shed. This year I don't have any major winter plans. I'm just trying to get through it. I'm uh, looking forward to spring, so. Anyway, as we get closer to spring, the frequency of the videos are likely to pick up. So, sorry about any audio issues with this one. Um, everything appeared to be going fine earlier. I'm not sure what happened, so just one of those things. I'm obviously an amateur. Either way, amateur or not, I still appreciate you. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.